In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. He called the light day and the darkness night. And evening came and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made the space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens, and God called that space sky. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so that dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land, and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. And evening came and morning passed, marking the third day. Then God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let there be signs to mark the seasons, days, and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that's what happened. And God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, to govern the day and to govern the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swims in the water. And every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. And evening came and morning passed, marking the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth produce every sort of animal each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that's what happened. God said, let us make human beings to be like us. Let us make them in our image. They will reign over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the livestock, and all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God looked over all that he had made and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation. So he rested from all that he had.